Hi, my name is Angela Mackey and I work in the Registrar's Office at Northern Michigan University. Um, I assist transfer students in answering questions regarding how and why your transfer credit was determined and I also reevaluate transfer credit on an as-needed basis. So today I'm going to talk to you about the transfer credit process. NMU accepts college level coursework from any regionally accredited college or university in which you've received a C- or higher. If you're transferring from a community college, we can accept up to 90 credit hours of coursework and unlimited from universities. We award advanced placement credit if you've taken an AP exam in high school and earned a passing score. So for most of our AP exams, we require a three, but we have a few exceptions where a four is required. We also award advanced placement credit for CLEP or higher level international baccalaureate or IB exams. You can view a full list of exams we accept, the scores that are required, and what credit you will receive by going to the courses section of our NMU catalog or undergraduate bulletin, which is located at nmu.edu slash bulletin. So once you are admitted to Northern, the registrar's office will review your transcripts to determine the appropriate transfer credit. Now this process can take up to two weeks and it all de depends on the number of courses that we have to evaluate and whether or not we have to send them to the academic department for review. Once all your courses are evaluated, you will receive a report that we call a transfer credit evaluation or TCE. Your TCE will show the courses and the number of credits that are accepted by NMU. On the left hand side, it'll show the transfer credit institution course. And on the right hand side, it'll show the NMU transfer credit that you are receiving. Now granted, this is for any classes that you received a C minus or higher that will show the transfer credit. The type of transfer credit that you can receive are any of the following. You can receive a direct NMU credit, which would be EN 211. You can receive general education credit, such as human expression, which would show up as HUME 1009. You can receive general departmental credit, such as MA 1009, which stands for general math credit at the 100 level. You can receive general elective credit, which will show up as GEN, GEN 1009. This credit will count towards your 120 credits that's required for you to graduate with your degree, but it does not meet any specific NMU program requirements. You may also see um, that we need, a, it'll say syllabus required. This just means that we need more information in order to determine the appropriate transfer credit equivalency. If you have taken a course that you were expecting to count towards your major or minor, or expecting to receive different credit, you can always email transeval, that's T-R-N-S-E-V-A-L, at nmu.edu with your name, your NMU IN, the school that the course you've taken it from, and a copy of the syllabus. And I will review that credit and to determine if we need to make a change or not, or I will send it to the department to see if they can do a review. At the very bottom of your TCE, you will see attempted, earned, past, GPA hours, and quality points. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about quality points and what they, what they stand for. So quality points are used to determine transfer GPA. This is mainly used for admissions purposes. Transfer GPA is not included in your NMU overall GPA or cumulative GPA. Quality points are determined by the number of credits a course is worth and the, multiplied by the honor points assigned for that grade received. For example, an A is assigned four honor points, a B is three honor points, and a C is two honor points. So if you've taken a four credit class and received an A, you would have 16 quality points. And what we do then is we add up all the quality points and divide that by your GPA credits to determine your transfer GPA. You will receive a separate TCE for each institution that you have attended. I recommend that you review your TCE and provide any additional information to us as soon as possible. And if you have any questions regarding your transfer credits, please feel free to contact the Registrar's Office and we will be happy to assist you. Thank you for your time and have a great day.